Warning. The following podcast has been performed by complete idiots. Under no circumstances should anyone attempt this level of idiocy in their own home. Please also note that listening to the following episode may result in mild confusion, occasional laughter, and an overall loss of brain cells. So, without further ado, welcome to the OCP, the original Copycats podcast. If we're, if we're talking, <laughs> if we're talking, and then the theme tune plays afterwards, that's going to be a bit weird. That's, that's, I like that. All right, well, um, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it this way then. Oh my god! My, my best part of me is being cut off. Oh, not that. Oh, you got me. <laughs> Just tilt it up. Stop zooming. Just tilt it up a little bit. God, you're so... Oh, now zoom in. God, it looks like I'm doing a job interview. <laughs> there we so go. Why would you be a great asset to the team? Well, I'm a little bit nervous, but I... Uh... <laughs> Is that why you'd be great? No, I'm, I'm just, great with being nervous. No, I'm, I'm just saying, like, in this situation, I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm a little bit nervous. I've not done one of these before. Hi, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the OCP, the original Copycats podcast. We are back for episode 106 this week. Yeah, it was 106, all right? Yeah, it was. That's yeah. not what I was staring at you for, but carry on. Oh, it's it beautiful, mate. It's just weird. It truly is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Classic. Uh, we are going to be doing something that we've not done before today. Have not? No. We've not spoken we have... about this at all. Never. Nobody the... knows anything about anything that we're going to talk about today. Literally nothing. Do I? I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> I ask that every day. <laughs> wow. wow, I'm the best on the selling point. That would explain the sales. We don't have anything on sale. Exactly. Oh, maybe if we shop did. at our merch shop when it's open. I would be the sales point. Yeah. What? I don't know. I don't know. This is actually bad. Okay, that it's was just, short-lived. It just, if I keep getting like Josh sick. was really confident that he'd look like really good for this hood up. I, don't say that. It's so fucking I think you do. Thank you. That's different but than, me, than you saying, Josh thinks he looks you really maybe good. maybe let me finish what I was saying. No. Who do you think you to are? To insult me. I don't even care. This is your episode. Get fucked. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, dear. Right. right. Yeah, <clears> it slides off my head, mate. Sorry. I'm... Every time I move my head, it's like, look, it doesn't take a lot of head movements. And then it goes. Go to a flip. Flip. Oh, that's a callback. That's callback, cool cool that. I don't even know how that started. I think, <laughs> speaking of callback, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> your, your episode, you do the segues. Okay, speaking of callbacks, <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to be doing something. Um, I've got a really itchy eye. Oh, right. yeah. mm. Tell us more. Uh, it's in the base, like, in the, you know where the tear duct The is? buttery biscuit base. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got an infected tear duct the other week. Did you? I really hurt. I've never had one before. Have you ever had one? No. My eye, and sorry, listeners, you, Alex might have to zoom in on this in post. Um, and <laughs> listeners, you're not even going to. Oh, you could do. No. Listeners, <laughs> this is irrelevant to you, but viewers, uh, yeah, we're here, right in the tear duct, where it's located, yeah. swollen. Swelled. S- swole. what's, the, what's the correct way? It was swollen. Yeah, it but swelled up. But in the context up. of my sentence, it made no sense. It swelled up. Mm. It swelled up. <laughs> <laughs> and it really hurt. Like, blinking hurt. Um, I, it was really itchy, because obviously it was healing. Mm. So you're there trying to itch it, and you're like, am I putting work, more things in it? And I was told not to itch it. Yeah. But it was really, like, itchy. Did you, did you find out why you had it? Um, I think, when I look back on when, like, a time my eye really hurt, mm. before it started swelling... Was there was a day where it was pouring it down with rain and like sweat and dirt from my gloves and stuff where I just wiped my face. You're just wringing your gloves out in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd, I'd wipe my forehead to get like my hair out of my eyes when it was raining. Yeah. And obviously I've done that and the rain's just brought all that mur- like murky water all over my face. Mm. And I think my eyes started stinging. And obviously, I'm in the pouring rain. I've only got my gloves and stuff. So instinctively, I've just gone like that on the back of my gloves. I think that's just pushed it in more. Yeah, 
I do that all the time as well, but luckily I've not had that. No, I wouldn't recommend it. No. It's not comfortable. You ever had pink eye? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's fun because you're like, <laughs> not having pink eye. The idea, there's two different types of pink eye. Yeah. One's pink. viral and one's bacterial. <laughs> one's an internet hit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I yeah. Now you make me feel like an idiot now. Thank you. <laughs> um, the bacterial one is the one with poop. The poop in your eye. It's fecal matter in yeah. your eye. Yeah. The the viral one, the one that blew up on YouTube. Uh, that one, it's same symptoms, but you have the you know the recollection. You don't have poo in your eye, so you feel good about it. But this is so horrid to talk about. Um, have you ever had it? No. Okay. So. This is where not through lack of trying. (laughs) (laughs) He doesn't wipe with toilet paper. Someone's ass. (laughs) (laughs) Whose ass would it have been? Who are you close to? Whoever wants it. (laughs) So nobody then. That's why you haven't got pink eye, I guess. Yeah, true. Um, But I had the first time I had pink eye, and actually, I think the the last time I had it was when I was a child. Okay. And you wake up in the morning and your eyes are all crusted over, Mm. and you just go. I'm so sorry, Lester, if you're watching this. You just go like this and you just peel your eye open. Is it like when you've got like the glue on your hands yeah. and you're like, oh, yeah. yeah. But it's just across the eye and you're like, like, ooh. <laughs> and it, sure, yeah, that's it not conjunctivitis. It's the same thing, isn't it? Conjunctivitis and pink eye are the same thing. I, pink they? eye is just, I think conjunctivitis is the medical term. Pink eye is what we've called it because like you've a got a pink eye. Common thing. I think so, yeah. It's uh, it's the same thing. And right. if I look it up, people often call conjunctivitis pink eye because it can cause the white of the eye to turn pink and red. Well, so I never. The same thing. Well, I've had conjunctivitis before. So since you've had pink eye? I have had pink eye then. Was it because poop or viral? I don't know. I, Did I you mean, have to do drops? Was... No. And it might have been the viral one. Might have been the better one. That's right. To have. That's I think right. if you need drops, that's because you've got poopoo eye. Oh, that's it. I remember because I called Isabel poopoo eye. So, yeah, she has. What an affectionate name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do I segue into this? Well, we both have past. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so, the past is something that's happened mm, um, many times. Yeah, many times. It's happening all the time. You're meant to be the good one at this, by the way. Yeah, but I... You prep, need to learn to roll. Nothing. You need to learn to roll with the punches more. Punch okay. Me. Can I? Can I? On a chair? Go for it. I mean, I was knocking you back with pads on. Go for it. I really don't want to. You haven't got the pad. Put my hand on the wall. No, no, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> God. Look at this bruise. Uh, I know. Oh, fuck. No, I couldn't, honestly. If you had the pads here, I wouldn't hesitate. But I am going to hesitate. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, I know you were so, just faking there. Uh, Cut that out. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> just two best friends assaulting each other. Two bros chilling, chilling in a hot tub. tub five, five feet apart because they're not gay. Oh, God, right. Um, yeah, so we both have pasts. Um, yeah. Some, some Mine, dodgy. Some a bit dodgy. Uh, no. So I have brought a box along with us today to the studio. His bedroom. My bedroom. It's where it lives. Uh, it's actually it's... bowed the shelf at the back there, <laughs> if you can see that on Alex's camera. No, you can't. No, you can't. There's a shelf behind us that has been sat up there for so long with so much weight that it's just bowed in the middle. And Alex sleeps under that shelf with his head. <laughs> like, that's his head end. So if you would like... And he shares the space with his jacket. His, his head takes up 5% of the space. His fucking clothes take up the rest. I don't have a very big room. I'm not making fun of you. I just think it's a funny layout. You laid out the bedroom. I did. I used to have my bed over here. Got but me. Yeah, Um. if you bring the box and you can pick things from it. And what I'm going to do is this a, is a bit of a get-to-know-me sort of episode. Oh, okay. A bit of vain, right? I mean... But there's you... stuff in there that we both share as well yeah we'll both have memories of these things but you have also um you've surprised me a little bit because there's not anything about me you don't know Mm. um and that's not for any reason other than i trust you more than you trust me i don't ever think it's you're more adventurous as we discussed downstairs when we were making lunch um which means that you've got more of a hidden part of you than i would because i'm very open i don't dark secrets so this might be surprising for me too there might be things i learn about you today 
Uh, now, Maybe. for the audio listeners, I will do my absolute best to describe what I find out of the box. Uh, but please go over to the YouTube and, and watch the videos because I've I've actually stopped listening to us on on Spotify to watch the videos. That sounds really vain, but I just think our dynamic when you're watching it is quite nice to watch. It's a lot better. It is. Yeah. Um, right. So I've got a box in front. It's just a white box. This has obviously been opened. Um, it's candles and curious. Is this a memories? It is. It is a memory. It's a yeah. shared memory for so us. So I will know this. Yeah. Right. So there's ribbon. There's red ribbon. Uh, can you hold on to that for me, please? And uh, red like uh, tissue paper. Mm-hmm. Um, bit of ASMR there. A little listeners. bit. Sorry, that's probably horrendous. I'm so sorry. God, it feels weird. And you never lit this. No. So this is a candle. It's a skull candle. Now, I hate to say, but I can't exactly remember the memory of this. It is very smooth, though. Now, this... I'll show it to my camera. There you go. Alex's camera is there as well. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. This was, and still is, our only official piece of fan mail. Oh, Oh, from um, Amy. Yeah. Yes. Amy, Amy Liz Adventures. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she has been and continues to be incredible. We haven't really spoken to you very much, Amy. So if you are about, please get back in touch. Uh, I think you went off social media. <laughs> I think you. Uh, but yeah, you were one of our first supporters and we will never forget you. You're not dead. Um, that we know of. Fucking hell. I mean, I'm trying to skirt around it, but yeah. I'm That's her head. <laughs> With a wick in it. She shrunk. Um, John but... Wick. E. E. Uh, yeah, that's really nice. Thank yeah, you. Again, which I'm Amy. hoping eventually when we get our own studio, we can put that up in the background and occasionally light it for Halloween specials. Yeah. Right, what have we got here? So, this is a letter from my mum. Oh, that's lovely. A long time ago. And your response. Yes. Would you like me to read mum's response and then... What come first? Mum's was first. Well, then I will and read then... it. Okay. Why would I not read it? Okay. Go for it. You don't want me to read it, No, do it's you? fine. You wanted I just to didn't know whether you get the words right, but carry on. Because some of them are a bit weird. Actually, some of them are quite close to... Set... I wouldn't like you have that. <laughs> there's one on there. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, you can so read that. So, there's a piece of paper here. Oh, yes. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's like a, a yellowy piece of paper. It's not stained. It's just the paper. It's it was very old. On. It's very old. Uh, and it's two lovely notes between Alex and his mother. Now, Alex and his mother, as far as I know from the nearly 20 years we've been friends, I've got a very good relationship. Yes. A very good relationship. And Mao is like my second mum. So, she is a saint and the fact that she's just written you a letter in what out of the blue yeah this was like probably 2008 yeah that just shows how good of a woman mal is she's incredible so yeah you go you read i'm gonna look for the next piece okay so it goes as follow as follows <clears throat> hello it's mum mum melly bum hello john bum okay son smelly melly whacker stacker maca maca moo <laughs> nickel naggle Nickel swack, Nicky Nacky Moo. I thought I was getting a bit close there. <laughs> Flibber wacko, blimpy blobby, flippy flappy foo, nickel knack paddy whack, monts nonce noo. <laughs> oh god, I didn't get that far. The, the niggle got me. I was like, I'm out. <laughs> Wibbly bibbly, niggly noggles, <laughs> wickle stiggle stump, blimey cor O'Reilly, it's knacker's doodle lump. <laughs> Wibble, noofy, goofy, plob, whiffy, st- stinky, splodge, flappy, flip, flap, whiffy, stips. <laughs> Caught call- call this poem's nodge. So where did the Easter bunny go? I think he went to get some Easter eggs before they all went. What? Before they all sell out after Christmas. Keep being mad and silly is what we all do best. Love, mum. And your mum is a saint. Oh God. Do you want me to funny. read that bit? You hold them for me. Say next. My response is so bad. <laughs> this I was is... trying to be as random as hers, which yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> your writing is very similar to mine, so I sh- I'm hoping I can read this. Um, we do cursive. We were yeah. taught cursive, and that was it. And then it just meant the words became more difficult to understand. Hello, mum, mum, Melly, Melly, mum, Merry, Merry, Bum, Bum. How's your arm? Did you have a bad arm? I don't know. Probably. God knows. Maybe. (laughs) 
One day, a man sharted. <laughs> what? That's why it's <laughs> no. It says sharted. I don't think I knew no, it that says, word. It says started. <laughs> yeah. One day, a man started to. I just thought, look, look at it. Look at that. Alex will have to take a picture of this. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, fair yeah, enough. I don't, I, I don't know. Um, it's a bit... Oh, no, I'll let Alex do that later. He can, yeah, post. Uh, you don't have to. It's a lot of work for you. Uh, so one day, a man started to walk in the park, and then he met the Easter Bunny. He said, flub lub lub <laughs> and walked away. <laughs> and the man was just left there and never seen again. <laughs> wow. I can murder a podcast. We've got a case for you. <laughs> uh, the Easter Bunny said, a flubba dabba lub bub, and a man was never seen again. Maybe it was an Easter cottontail. Maybe. It <laughs> might be. It was an Easter assassin. cottontail. Yeah, an Easter Eastern cottontail. Hope you have a nice day tomorrow and hope to see you soon. Lots of love from, I thought that said anal, <laughs> uh, but it says ale al, because you oh. don't know how to spell alley. Yeah, Ali Al. It's A Al. Alex A I A J A seven Y. Bah, mod, moo, bah. In other words, Ali, or you get what I mean, hall. <laughs> what? Ali, or you get what I mean. Oh, I think I was meant to say chow. Oh, uh, <laughs> it says chow. Chow. Uh, and then you've got Al Al Alex A I A J A seven Y. Um, Fucking hell! So thank you for that, Alex. What's wrong with me? I'm going to give that back to you because I don't want to damage that. Give me your, give me, so your give me your, give me your years. Probably quite boring. Student, maybe, but um, I mean, I mean, half of this shit didn't ever get written in. Oh, here we go. Actually, now this here, I'm going to show the camera again, audio listeners. I'm so sorry. This was our common wheel. Uh, student planner that we got at the beginning of every year that we were there. I was only there till year nine, you all the way up to year 11. So you got, uh, it doesn't really matter, Alex does the editing, yeah, so I'll just do that. You're the one talking. Now, there was one thing that caught my eye when I accidentally scrolled through one of the pages. Now, this is oh, Alex God. in year seven, okay? It's not as bad as you think. Right. Nothing Nazi. That's all right then. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Um, this year, when we get to year eight, though, you <laughs> fucked. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, Alex would have been in year eight. Oh, what, like 13? In year eight, yeah. Well, we ate 11, sorry. It would have been like 11 because we so, leave yeah. school. We left school when we were 16. About 11, 12, yeah. Um, so Alex would have been 11. Now, he scribbled this out. Um, oh, God, what have I written? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've only really just noticed this. <laughs> Alex might have to bleep some names out here. Wow, Kate. <laughs> now, if I think that's a Kate who I think oh, no. asked me out, um, weird girl sat next to me. <laughs> so that was, that, that, was, that was the 23rd of September 2008. Alex said, wow, Kate asked me out. And on the 24th, the next day, a, world, a weird girl sat next to him. The weird girl that sat next to me, I then asked out every year Who since. was it? Grace. Oh, was it? Oh, she was It's only weird because she puked everywhere. <laughs> That's not weird. <laughs> yeah, maths class. All right, so we're back from probably an edit that Alex did there. Yes. Um, I am currently looking at a picture, and I don't know if I can actually show it because we don't have permission. Do yeah, you're permission? in it. Yeah. I am in it, but I'm not the only one in it. Me and you are in it. Um, this is a picture of our year six production of Oliver Twist uh, that we did, and it was very fun. I was the only person, even though I wasn't a lead, and I was the most stage fright, I was the only person to have two roles. And I, I, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> I've just picked this up without realizing I thought my mum and dad would be proud that yeah. I did it. And they were. My mum my, my especially. Why is this here? <laughs> Hayley and Claire. Why is this here? Do I... Why? Is, should I explain this? Right, okay. So Alex's box of treasures, along with our childhood memories, is a signed copy of the... What is that? The Metzia? No. Uh farming calendar of 2017 um from Haley and claire thank you thank you for the signed 
copies there. And it's just, I mean, I'm a nearly married man. So this is like, this is horrendous for me. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating on my fiance. I'm not really, Kels, if you're listening. Uh, it's just pictures of, wait, why did it? I thought I recognized one of the ladies. Why is this here? So I went to a lawnmower convention oh once. My God. <laughs> is that when you worked at Lawn Doctor? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that was my takeaway from it. A sexy calendar <laughs> with them sat on John Deere's. John Deere's what? John Deere's dick. Hey. Right, what have we got? We've got some scraps of paper. Again, I'm sorry, this might not be to everybody's taste. And I understand people might not want to listen, yeah. but to us, this is pretty good. This is a lovely little wall. We've spoken about our past a lot, about our childhood, about how me and Alex met. It's some of our fondest memories. Mm. So to actually get a proper recap, Alex has kept... 95 percent of everything from our childhood whereas i had very little care thinking that we'd have any need for it in the future so it either went in the bin or it went in the attic alex has kept his in a lovely little yellow box above his head that's going to kill him <laughs> one day when the, when the drawer when the thing breaks the shelf breaks um right sorry sorry i, d- uh, I don't mean to interrupt but i'm here to talk about the socials basically if you're a fan of us i'm going to give you a list of stuff that you can go and check out if you want to see more of us. So we have an Instagram, which is the underscore OCP. We have a Reddit, which is r slash the OCP. We have a YouTube where we upload main content videos, which is the original copycats. And we have a YouTube for the podcast, which is the OCP. And we also have a TikTok, which is original copycats. Pretty much the same as the YouTube, to be honest. But yeah, so that's uh, that's the socials. Go and check them out. Thanks. Oh, this was a list of compliments I was given because I was a vain child. <laughs> so I just want to do a little shout out for my co-host, my best friend, my my rock in, uh, in, in bad situations, such as when we're stranded on the Pacific Ocean. He's the one that's dragging me down. Um, <laughs> uh, Alex, bless him, has got a list here. And I just double checked the back there. There's nothing on the back. A list of compliments from strangers all right um I forgot that was in there. bless his heart okay not only did he forget it was at the bloody top it wasn't hard to find <laughs> no i rearranged it recently i just put it all oh, back in might have been at the bottom then um and i just want to just want to say some of these if that's okay with you excuse me um so chris here has uh, come up a few times and now i don't know who chris is do you I know think who it might Chris have been Morrison's? Morrison's Chris. I'm going to call you Chris M. So Chris M, you are someone who, when I ask them to do a job, you get it done. That is Alex as an assassin. Um, Chris, again, you done good today. Well done. That was straight out of the hood. Uh, thank you, Chris. <laughs> That's not even a compliment. Um, yeah, Alex did the basic requirements of his job. Well done. <laughs> Abby and Chris. Now, who's Abby? Abby is a new name mentioned here. We got Chris M back from Morrison's, but Abby, Abby must be from Morrison's too. Yeah. We got Abby M and Chris M. No relation. They work in the same place. So, always calm and always positive. Really nice lad. It's weird that I remember these yeah, enough to write I them thought down. I'd complimented you enough as a friend that you wouldn't need to go down this route. This is. This is Dharma shit. Like, I'm worried about you a little bit. Uh, oh, sorry. The really nice lad wasn't from... Chris and Abby both collectively said always calm and always positive. So Abby said always calm and Chris said always positive or vice versa. Tom R. Oh, yeah. Who's that? Morrison's as well. Morrison. So Tom R. This is M. all of Morrison's. Yeah. Tom R. M. has said really nice lad. Mike. Is that Mike M.? Yeah. For Morrison's, good. Pleasure to work with. <laughs> Sorry, I can't tell if this is a CV or, or like, for another job or... Sorry, are these your references? Is this how you got into Stanton? <laughs> um, Emma. Is that Emma M? Yeah. Really good teacher. You went into education at Morrison's. Fantastic. <laughs> Taught her how to stack a shelf. I'm so glad you went down the educational route. The next generations will be pleased. Tom R has come up twice now. Um, he says you're a genius. 
Okay, we're back after a small technical issue with our audacity. Yeah, so we're <laughs> we binning that off bit, now. Yeah, well, um, Alex is probably going to try his best to edit that uh, the best way he can. But if it, it does seem a bit long, we were so distracted by our conversation when audacity shut down we lost a few minutes of audio so yeah. apologies if that just doesn't sound all right but we're, we're going to continue alex has now decided he's going to pick out what he wants me to read out because there's a lot in there he didn't realize was in there uh and there's a lot he wouldn't want so the bits that were cut out actually was bits that alex didn't want in anyway yeah. just let it less <laughs> editing for you um okay so I just want to state as well, if, yeah, if any of this comes across quite vain, it's because that was Alex's younger. He's not like that anymore. <laughs> He's an approachable human ple- being. Please give him a chance. Ladies. <laughs> there you go. All right, we got something. We got Story something. that I wrote once. Oh, God, right. Let me just lean back for this one. Uh, um. Right, children, let's read the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood was walking along, along to the house. <laughs> she was walking along to her house, was she? Yes. Alone. Dumbass. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> she heard a funny noir. <laughs> Because Alex forgot the last E on noise. So it's noir. She heard a funny noir. It was Fred. Oi! You were walking in your own studio, you plonk. <laughs> That's such a British thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just... There was no speech marks or anything. <laughs> the punctuation on this is horrendous, and that's coming from me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, you've walked into the wrong studio, you plonk. Sorry, I was just going to Greg's. <laughs> What the <laughs> what the lovely sausage rolly <laughs> khaki lovely <laughs> why are these words this isn't even english anymore <laughs> lovely sausage rolly <laughs> khaki lovely shop yes the lovely sausage rolly cackle lovely shop or greg's for short <laughs> <laughs> I think it's meant to be a sausage rolly lovely cakey shop. Well, it says <laughs> sausage rolly cackle shop. <laughs> khaki shop, sorry. Oh, my God. Well, it might be cakey. Oh. oh, here goes another story. A long time ago, about a hundred person years. <laughs> nice. <laughs> about a hundred years ago, there was a person called Alex, and he was very good at sword fighting. And he was, and he was he of the three, a uh, one. Sorry. That is <laughs> oh a, my god, that's a dodgy ass. <laughs> oh, well, it's lovely. It's the first piece of memorabilia that actually matches, you know, your ben- best friend of twenty years. You, well, obviously not at this time, but hey, uh, one of the three musketeers. The other people was Josh and Jordan. Now, I hate to be put in the category <laughs> with him, but hey, I'll suck it up. Their ex friend Ben. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, getting you, it early. <laughs> you didn't even have to be bothered to put the E, you just put X. <laughs> you just put X friend. He was one of their friends, but he hurt someone in the group. The mate, he spelled group G R U P E. Um and he spelled with her H E R T <laughs> in the group. So he was out the next day. The next day, Ben had formed an army. How did he do that? That's the only thing in speech box. <laughs> in just one day, I don't know. There is Frozen Fred, <laughs> Jake, and Mr. Quatch, and Duckman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is my best friend. Let's go. Let's get them. Oh no! Frozen Fred has frozen my felt and mine. <laughs> I think it's going to be feet. <laughs> it might be feet and mine. Oh, for cring out loud said Alex because he spelt crying with two eyes and no Y. <laughs> um, 
Oh, shut up. It's only a bit of ice. The villains locked them away and they broke out. But you did originally put they broche. <laughs> because they did not take their weapons away. The End by Alexander John Ilsley. There you go. Future want, writer, mate. I want to kill myself. <laughs> That just goes to show you're not born with talent. It just takes 26 years to develop it. <laughs> or if you're Alex, considerably longer. Oh. Would you like to see oh, what? Alex Hillsley's picture of Rupert Grint? Oh, no. Yes, of course I do. Sorry, Rupert, if you're watching. <laughs> Bear with me. Welcome back to the pod. <laughs> There's like two of us. <laughs> We're twins. What's this? Uh, there's a poem in the inside. There's a poem on the inside. Common wheel. At Commonweal School, my friends are cool and the lessons are all right. The teachers teach, the students talk, and the homework is a bore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The break time should be longer. There's hardly time at all. And when break time is over, the lessons is more and more. <laughs> yeah, I hate to break it to you, mate, but bore doesn't rhyme with teach. <laughs> at Commonwealth School, my friends are cool and the lessons were all right. The teachers taught, the students talked, and the homework kept you up all night. The break times could have been longer. They felt like no time at all. But once the break was over, the lessons... But learning lets forever more. What? <laughs> but once the break was over, there's lessons, but learning lasts forever more. I wish I could have stayed as young as I was back then, but that wouldn't help me. I had to make new friends. <laughs> Do you remember any of this? No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> College and work brought new opportunities for me to earn and live, but not one day goes by where I don't feel like a div. I added that last bit. Was it just end? Just ends. Just <laughs> ends on where I don't feel. <laughs> <laughs> Not one day goes by where I don't feel. Yeah. Uh, and then I added like a div. It, it rhymes with live. Take notes. Oh, there you go. It's another story. Oh, fucking hell, Jesus. I'm losing brain cells just like, every time you... Do you want me to just read it for this? It's double-sided. That is a fucked way to say curious. A curious creature. It was a lovely day under the shade of the African desert trees. <laughs> Not sure whether Africa has a desert, does it? I, I mean, it has a desert. I just don't think there's trees <laughs> just sprouting around there. Otherwise, it's, it's a pretty shit desert. Uh, if only I could find water. Shh, Why? Because I can't play cards with you moaning every <laughs> single millisecond. Besides, there's men's over there. There's <laughs> men's. <laughs> so that's not as much of my mistake, sorry. There's men over there. What, humans? Yes, humans, said giraffe. <laughs> ah, plot twist. We're the animals. Why are they playing cards? And they're worried about talking. <laughs> Quick, hide. The humans are close. Get out poker. <laughs> um. <laughs> and they have guns. Oh, no. Potchers. <laughs> giraffe. Help, giraffe. They shot him. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's in a speech bubble. <laughs> Roar. Bang. Ow. Why you? Because he's asleep. <laughs> or he's dead. After a while, I woke up. There were people plus humans walking everywhere. I tried to get out, but I was trapped in something called a cage. When I was put down, I put my paw through the bars of the cage and reached for the gun. Luckily, I memorized how to use it. Thank convenience. God. Thank God when they murdered his friend, he remembered how to use the gun that did it. And I shot someone. This is a crime. <laughs> this is. You've just confessed. 
and the keys to the cage. You struggle to spell cage and key. All right. So first off, you put and the keys to the key. That's what you put. <laughs> and then you put the, and then you you scribbled out key. You put cages. Could have just scribbled out the S. Could have got away with that. Um, but the keys to the cage. Guess what they did? What? They flew into my paw and I opened the cage and ran out. Everyone ran away from me. Hmm. Basketball. What's that? What? I don't know. <laughs> don't know. You've got a messed up child mind. I was. <laughs> Why is it got a basketball reference? <laughs> I was anxious, but spelled A N G shus. S H U S. I was anxious to find out, so I went in. Lots of he has just murdered a person. He thought, oh, you know, what I'm going to do <laughs> basketball. That seems like the best option for this. Lots of people were bouncing with an S, not a C, balls on the ground and chucking them in hoops. If you are wondering how I know these words, my friends have been here. <laughs> That's all in speech bubbles. He's cleared up. That is cleared up the biggest question in this whole story. Is how does he know these words? How does he know what basketball is? He's like an animal. Mental, that. Right? So I took a ball while chasing off a man. I held the ball in my jaws and it was gone. Then I had a funny and rubbery Cast in my mouth. <laughs> oh no, maybe I'm not good enough to be in this body. Oh yes, I found water. Alex the cheater. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you played basketball, you blew up a basket, you killed a man. You watched your giraffe <laughs> friend being killed. Uh, you were in a cage and then <laughs> you found water. So, <laughs> hallelujah. <sighs> there was a... <laughs> face hurts man. <laughs> there was a resolution oh. we found what we were looking for i can't believe it god wow what a twist of fate that was this like... is going to be your episode <laughs> i've done, done all the talking i don't really want to read it myself it's funny to get someone else that's to fine it. i don't mind doing it it's just uh i'm gonna get you to do all the work on my next <laughs> oh Oh, this is bound to have some good shit in it. I'm really nervous for what I'm going to pull out of this book. I am actually going to lay back. I have been to the gym today, so please bear with me. Who there was a boy? Oh, there was a boy <laughs> who knocked... <laughs> is you good? Uh, no. Do you want I... me to read it? You can read that word, that one word. <laughs> exactly, exactly. K N D K N D D. Who kinded to any needed maybe needed to any other friends, any other kids? And Nailed. I fucking hope not needed to children. Um, I'm just going to put to kinded. You read it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> to kinded to any other kids and staff. But the problem is, he didn't just the kids. <laughs> I know there is <laughs> there is a little annoy in there. He didn't just annoy the kids. Oh, that's what it is. Oh. It, it's kindred to annoy. Tended. Tended. To, we've crossed it out. <laughs> we figured the story. Hallelujah. There was a boy who tended to what? Tended to annoy other kids and staff. But the problem is he didn't just annoy the kids. He in, he annoyed the staff. It was mentioned earlier. <laughs> he annoyed the headmaster called... Mr. Jones. <laughs> McCrawley. <laughs> or McCowley. I don't know. Maybe that was just a project we were working on as a Maybe. group. I don't know, mate. This is 2007, by the way. So, you know. <laughs> that would have been... That was a long eight, time ago. Like nine That was the ten. year we met. Jeez, man. This is, well, a year after we met. What a po Write a poem, poem on feelings. Um, this one was crossed out, so that's why I'm going to read it first. I am not very happy. Oh, clinic depression started early. <laughs> <laughs> I am feeling like I'm wearing a rope. Oh, my God. <laughs> and what? I'm feeling very lame. <laughs> I am not very happy. I felt like I'm wearing a nappy. 
<laughs> oh, thank God, I read it wrong. Oh my God, I thought you. Were, I thought. I thought you were on about hanging. I thought you were ten years old talking about hanging yourself. No, you just couldn't fit nappy in the same letter. You've just repeated the same part of the poem twice. But the second time, I can actually understand what the word was. I'm not very happy. I feel like I'm wearing a nappy. I'm not very happy. I feel very lame. I'm not very happy. I feel like I'm wearing a nappy. That's what you read. God, you're a psycho. One day, I was playing, and the horses were neighing. The farmer had a spade. He kept it as it was made. He didn't temper with it. No. He didn't put a racing stripe or spoiler on it. No. He kept it as a spade. And I got knocked out. <laughs> with his non-tuned spade. It's just so blunt. It is very blunt. I was called an idiot this morning. They all save me. Oh, fuck. They all save me a warning. I was very upset in the way I was kept and my uh, the names that they have been calling. They been calling. <laughs> That's bars right there. Send that to Dre. You're going to love editing this. I'm I'm having so much fun. I'm this. enjoying myself. Good. With this book, you could make a fortune by selling it, but not enough people are buying it, so please. It's <laughs> an ad campaign yeah. right there. Upsy Daisy Land. I woke up this morning and there was a big warning. There are Germans. <laughs> I think you yeah. shouldn't have probably been allowed to watch <laughs> The Great Escape. <laughs> um, yes, yeah. it just ended there. Yeah, well, I, I, <laughs> Let me just let me try and save you here. Let's see if there is. Mm, don't, don't get, it's not much better. The Germans were on the way. <laughs> uh, you can tell her what Alex fantasized about. <laughs> Happy birthday. Hey. Uh, to you, sir. I woke up this morning. I, why do I always you always start it with I woke up this morning? <laughs> it sounds like I'm trying to sing Katy Perry's song. Woke up this when morning, I woke up. Feeling or, is it, or, or is it um um Kesha? I don't know. Quiche. Uh, quiche, yeah. Got my glasses, I'm out the door. I'm going to hit this city. Before I leave, brush my teeth with that one. I don't know that one. But when I leave for the night, I ain't coming back. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Sounds like you're singing that every time. I woke up this morning and I, and I had a big warning. You like the same pattern with the... God, nothing's changed. <laughs> and my parents came rushing upstairs. My mam... <laughs> and dad said shut up <laughs> so i did <laughs> then they said open and there wheeze a big suppress <laughs> so they told him to shut up open his door and there was a suppress outside <laughs> all you had to do was add an e mate you would have finished that word would have been a surprise <laughs> oh fuck's sake in star wars episode five in Star Wars Episode V5, not many people stayed alive. Lightsabers and laser guns and lifesavers. The mints. What? Why are you acting like... And... It should be lasers, comma, guns. It's not written yeah. that way, but for the limerick to work, then it needs to yeah. be read in a pan. I don't care. I'm <laughs> reading the hell is red, mate. You should have sorted that out when you meet me. was... Oh, yeah, go on. And you didn't even spell accidentally wrong. Right. Really? Yeah. Wow. Accidentally, Yoda dies. Does he? Nope. Not in the film. You're, what, in five? He might do, actually. I can't um, remember, if I'm honest. This one's called Ben. If we were all called Ben, I would act like a hen. I don't know why. I can't deny. But I'm not, I'm not why worry then. <laughs> oh, I'm not why worry then. Because his name's not Ben. Right. Oh my God. Earth, sun, and moon. <laughs> this earth, wind, and fire's knockoff. <laughs> yeah. Earth, sun, and moon. Are you can even see it at... Not a clue. <laughs> I'm not even going <laughs> to... I'm not even... <laughs> moon. That is a dodgy noon. <laughs> earth, sun, and moon... I, you, can even see it at noon. I, you. I, either that or you've put, oh, 
Maybe I've just separated. You dumbass! The... You put your initials the other side of the red line. <laughs> <laughs> Earth, sun, and moon. You can <laughs> even see it at noon. It's quite amazing, or uh, as you put it, is uh, quit or like quet, quet amazing <laughs> and dazing. And then you finished it off in later years. But most of all, Harry thinks it's doom. You ripped into your brother there for no all reason. Right, then. He was just friendly fire. Cats and dogs, dogs, cats, and banana banana splits. You added too many ends. <laughs> Uh, mumbo jumbo elephants knits children adults everywhere and me sat in a leather chair this one you got bored when you were marking your work and you've stopped marking it at this point it just happened to be the one with my name on it josh josh he's so fine <laughs> josh josh he's divine what are you trying to say bro? he sits next to me every day I just think hip hip hooray. There you go. Fantastic. Yeah. It's fucking weird. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Alex Alex is me. <laughs> Alex Alex with a knobbly knee. He sits. <laughs> <laughs> he sits next to Josh. John, Josh thinks I'm a pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's incredible to know nothing. Nothing has changed. Oh my god. Horrid, horrid Henry leaves a nasty memory. He kicked me in the shin oh. and th threw my toy in the bin. The toy was recovered and put in the cupboard. I think he was a nin. <laughs> What's a nin? <laughs> I don't know what a nin is. <laughs> Right, this whole one was crossed out, so it's got to be read. Okay. My mum. Oh, no. <laughs> one day I said to my mother, you're such a bother. <laughs> you annoy me every day. I started to say, you clean my sockets. <laughs> <laughs> Weird name for an arsehole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how I got pink eye. <laughs> Oh, I was making out with my mum after she cleaned my sockets. Oh my god. You wash my pant, everything. <laughs> Eat pants. That's how she got pink eye. You wash my pant, everything you do, and not every time I smell them. <laughs> the dog was psych. <laughs> psych! The cat was. That's the wrong number. <laughs> the cat was poorly, and I banged my knee. I opened the drawer and She's to my surprise, riding. the skunk did a humongous wee. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a skunk in your drawer, bro? No rhymes in that at all. <laughs> oh, you're going to love this one. The well, title Lauren. <laughs> Ex girlfriend for anyone who's wondering. Oh, well, you might be cutting this out. <laughs> Lauren is a girl. She thinks she's a pearl. <laughs> she boasts and brags and almost nags, and she makes my toes curl. <laughs> I see no ship. I see no ship. I see none at all. Well, you know why that is because you're in a swimming pool. <laughs> Uh. Right, last page. Oh, okay. School is boring. Everyone ignoring. You trying to work, but your head will hurt because of all the snoring. That's not too I bad. I had to add shit to that to make all it. All right. <laughs> right. Well, considering that's taken up most of the episode, I don't have a end segment. Um, so we're going to leave it there. Thanks for reading all of that. Oh my god, my go jaw. Break. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can only apologize for what was, in my opinion, creativity back then. Um, Stop drinking. <laughs> I'm really dry. Yeah. <laughs> but before we go, there is one more thing we'd like to say. Uh, and that is that we have been invited to join the Off the Tongue Podcast Network. 
And uh, we've mm. been lovely. We've, <laughs> we've been lovely. Everybody <laughs> else, dog <laughs> shit. Uh, that's what Alex was trying to say. <laughs> Don't know what I was trying to say. We've been it. invited by the lovely ladies at the Greener Grass podcast. And I assume the other people have had I their say so. as well. Um, so we are graciously accepting that invite and we are going to be part of that. So if you... Oh, they want... actually, they might have heard someone about it at the beginning of the episode. So if you were questioning, what the bloody hell is this on OCP? You've had to wait. You've had to listen to the whole dog shit episode that we've just recorded to get to this part in which we say, that's the new podcasting network that we're we're a part of. Network. Network. (laughs) Too much of that, mate. I'm not blaming you. I don't think we deserve to continue. Um, I think. (laughs) So yeah, go check out the Off the Tongue Podcast Network. We'll be featured on there and we'll feature some of their stuff. I don't really know what's going on at the moment, so stay tuned. I can tell when you don't know what you're doing because <laughs> I just stay calm and collected throughout the whole thing. You're there like, what are you doing? Throwing a pantomime? What the fuck was that? He's behind you. <laughs> <laughs> no way, <laughs> What are you doing? You're the confident one. Just I'm not I'm feeling really <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's because it's funny. This episode's been an absolute... Um, can I go home now? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. This is an off the tongue podcast.